Hey, how are we going guys? Mick here from Off Cartel, back with another kick-ass beer review. Tonight I'm going to review another Dayton's beer. It is their, one of their latest releases, the Vienna Nipa, or Vienna Nipa. Uh, fancy ice cream cake IPA, 6.5% ABV, 20 IBUs, 355 mil can, 1.8 standard drinks. These guys hail out of Caram Downs, Victoria. Can statement goes, you scream ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Swirly, chocolatey, vanilla-y ice cream, that is. Who said we aren't a little bit fancy? No preservatives, keep me cold, contains lactose. Certified independent. Oh, I've been hanging to try this one. I've been watching a few other people across other different platforms. Actually, uh, have posted up photos of this particular beer no real uh, reviews in the way of this particular beer I'm uh, not getting a, a decent story on what to expect from that which is probably a good thing so I can give a pretty much a, a uh, pretty straightforward review of what I think of the latest Dayton's Vienna PR Vienna PR fancy ice cream cake IPA crack this one open not going to smell the can. Alright, so I'm expecting uh, Vienna. Viennetta cake. Is that the one? One of my big favourites growing up. It's actually one of our, still one of our favourites here in the household. Uh, haven't had it for a long time. Uh, but when we do, I did smell the can, so I can't help myself. It actually. Uh, we do actually really enjoy uh, that sort of dessert. Yes, I can smell chocolate. I can smell creaminess. I can smell Viennetta. It's definitely there on the nose. Nice carbonation. Nice one and a bit finger head. Absolutely smelling of dessert. Beautiful colour. That is all the representation here in person, what you're seeing on camera, that is the colour we're getting. Quite a vigorous carbonation. Maybe there's something to do with this glass in particular. Very vigorous. Uh, it is fresh out of the dishwasher, not where I'd normally put the glasses, but I do have a crap load of glasses being uh, being used at the moment so I do I put these into the dishwasher all on their own no other things involved in the dishwasher when they go in but maybe it's the glass that's doing that um, here we are we have just reached over 150 videos here on YouTube so there's a bit of a milestone for the hop cartel over 150 videos and counting this would probably make around about 150 253 uh, so why not smash it out with a bit of a birthday cake beer? And um, here it is. Dayton's Vanipa Fancy Ice Cream Cake IPA. Cheers. Okay, so straight up I'm getting the chocolate and the cream um, and very much, a, it's, it's like a cereal, um, almost very similar to the cereal flavour that came across on the back end of the uh, Shooters IPA from Feral Brewing Company. So predominantly it is probably that chocolate um, up front with the lactose and some sort of cereal grain uh, rounding it out. That chocolate is very prominent. The creaminess is very prominent. Is it a beer um, for a session? Well, let's say no, it's definitely not a beer for a, for a session. 
Um, could be one of those beers that actually gets quite nice as it starts to warm, um, start to develop some more flavours uh, at this stage. It's changed ever so slightly from the first pour to to five minutes into the video what it is now. No other real statement there. There's nothing written in this that tells me that the uh, what hop addition they tried to. Um, use in this particular NEPA to sort of maybe showcase and come across as that um, very well known dessert um, actually been to quite a few parties where it's been actually used as a uh, ice cream cake as a, for, for, for the birthday or some sort of celebration um, so I thought it was quite fitting to throw this one up in um, as a celebration of the milestone, over 150 videos here at Hop Cartel on YouTube. I'm liking it, uh, like I do with many other, uh, or most, or not all, Dayton's Brewing Company beer releases. Um, it's something different, and it is. it does appeal to me. Uh, I am quite enjoying it. Um, Certainly nothing there that um, um, makes me want to say that this, this is a Dayton's that I'm, I'm obviously uh, not fond of. I'm certainly fond of it. So right from the aroma down to the flavour um, and the changing flavours. Now seven minutes in, it's starting to develop a little bit more now. Starting to get a little bit more juicy, a little bit more like a, uh, a standard uh, Nipa, um, but still tastes that vanilla and chocolate. Very nice. Cheers.